Hey guys, so today I want to share an ITC experiment with you, but before I do, I wanted to kind of put it into context first. Now, the other night I had a dream about Anna, and it's it's Anna as I perceive her to be. You know, I understood it. This was Anna. Uh, she had the wide brim hat, the Victorian dress that comes out, you know, exactly as I've described her in the past. And don't get me wrong, like, I don't put a huge amount of stock in dreams. Like, generally speaking, I don't even remember them most of the time. So the fact that I actually remembered it on this occasion is unusual in itself. But I know a lot of people do, and I, I get asked all the time in comments if if they ever speak to me in my dreams. And so that, that, that came to mind when I woke up and I, I kind of had these images. And so... I don't remember the full coherence, but generally speaking, it would be, she'd be off in the distance and she'd be kind of like waving at me. Like I was on a street at one point, I was in a wood or like I was in the house. And each time I would get to her, she would disappear. At one point she was trying to talk to me, but it, the sound was like muffled, like somebody talking into a pillow type thing. And you know, it, it was a little bit frustrating. So look, when I woke up, I just felt like I kind of had to try and do some kind of communication, but instead of just, pulling out the spirit box and doing it that way, even though I did later on, I wanted to do an ITC experiment of some kind, like bring in like visual ITC and try something new. And so after a bit of research, I found out that some people actually use EVP recorders alongside radio white noise, you know, just a static loop that like it almost enhances the noise of the recorder, giving the spirits a little bit of extra audio to manipulate so that that was kind of the principle behind it i won't go into it too much because i do explain it in the clip so give it a watch guys and we'll jump in and discuss it afterwards hey guys today i'm going to be running an itc experiment combining both visual and audio itc and th this is not a, a fully original experiment i have done something very similar in the past using a spirit box but what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using the five inch analog tv and for anyone that doesn't know, analog was switched off in the UK a long time ago. So this TV isn't actually capable of, of picking up a signal. Like it won't get any images through and it won't get any audio. If I actually turn the volume up, you get nothing but white noise, which is exactly what I want. The idea is that any spirits present should be able to come through and show themselves through the visual white noise as well as be heard through the audio white noise. And as a backup to that, I've got the EVP recorder and the basics of this particular EVP recorder is that it has a very low noise floor which allows that's that's where that that's where the white noise is the static that spirits can manipulate to to have the voices heard and so having this set up next to the TV with the volume up that adds another level of white noise for the the spirits to manipulate so even if we don't hear it out loud through the speakers of the TV we may still capture a decent EVP on the recorder. So that's pretty much it. The way I'm gonna run the experiment is I'm got, I've got a, a camcorder here trained in on the screen that I'm gonna run for maybe four or five minutes, any longer than that, and it takes too long to go frame by frame to see if there was any images captured. I'm gonna reach out to the spirit, specifically Anna, because this is following the dream I had about her, and hopefully she'll come forward and she'll communicate with me through these devices. Anna, are you here? I saw you the other night. I believe I saw you in my dream. Was that you trying to communicate with me? If it was you, can you come forward and and help me with this experiment? I've got this device here on the table. You can actually show yourself through it and actually speak through the speakers if you manipulate the audio. Can you do that for me? Can you say anything at all? Is there a message that you wanted to, to tell me? Is that why you were reaching out to me? Anna, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this running for five minutes. I'm gonna leave the room. If you could try and and manipulate this device in any way, that would be absolutely amazing. It would really help me out a lot. And I will be following this up with a spirit box session. So there'll be there'll be ample opportunity to speak to me during that as well. So if if you could help me with this, I would, I would really appreciate it. So even though there was no audible EVP in there, there was an EVP captured on the recorder, an EVP that I personally think is Anna saying it was me. Now as with all EVPs of Anna, you hear that tone and it's just instantly recognizable. Like it just doesn't leave any doubt in my mind that that was her. The translation was a little bit iffy. It wasn't as clear as some of the previous EVPs I've had from her. So it was me, not, might not even be correct. That's just that's just what I heard. So if you guys heard something different, you know, please drop it down in the comments. I would I would love to hear your translations. But the EVP, even as, as good as it was, was not the thing that got me excited about it. The, the best bit came once I've actually left the room and I'm just recording the static for five minutes. A couple of minutes into those five minutes, there is sort of like a knocking sound that almost sounds like footsteps or somebody nudging the table, banging on it or something. And then a couple of seconds after you hear that, there is some images flash on screen and you might not have seen them maybe the first couple of times in the normal play and then the high contrast play. But when you really slow it down and you go frame by frame, these, these images just really pop at you. So what I've done is I've screenshotted them. I'm going to play them on screen for you and I'm going to explain what I think you're looking at. Now this first one to me doesn't really seem like it's fully formed. It feels like they're just starting to show themselves. They're starting to build the energy necessary to appear. But you can just about make out a human form there on the left hand side. Like it's it's got a, a big portion at the top that could be the head and then the body coming down. It's kind of slim at the neck so it's either really fine or it, it's just non-existent. Now the second one is so much clearer. You can definitely see the wide brim hat on that. I did think that it kind of looked more like a cowboy hat than than the kind of Victorian hat, but maybe that's just because of, of the distortion that it's not coming through as clear as it normally would. But you can definitely see the hat, the, the head, and then the rest of the body down below. Now this third one, again, you can definitely see the wide stretch that could be the hat. It, it's, it's got the head below that. I mean, you can't see the body like there's no neck below it. So, I mean, that thing could be anything. It's more like a dark splodge than an actual definitive shape. But it's definitely interesting. You can you can definitely draw the parallels to the second image that we looked at. Now, this fourth image, I'm fully aware, isn't anything special. There is there's no definitive shape to it. It's just a dark splotch on the left-hand side. But to me, what's interesting about it is the fact that the first one wasn't fully formed. The second one took a lot more shape. The third one was like a close-up of that shape. And then the fourth one started to fade out again. And it's almost like the energy was built up. They showed themselves for a couple of frames. And then the energy started to disappear. So I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Obviously, this is all speculation. These things could just be random sporadic bits of noise within the transmission data or the, the white noise on the screen like it, it could be anything but I definitely think it's interesting I can see recognizable shapes and if you actually think back to the previous ITC experiment that I did there are similarities there and on that occasion I, I was aware that I was trying to talk to Anna so you know what I mean like there, there could be something in it there might be nothing but let me know what you guys think and as always I'll post any and all activity 
awesome when I get it.